Welcome back, fight fans, to another video here on The Fight Game. The middleweight division is one of boxing's best divisions. While some like the powerful brute force gallantry of the heavyweight division, and others like the speedy finesse of the lighter weights, the middleweight division offers a happy balance of power, speed, and skill. Middleweights tend to have enough power to knock opponents out, but also enough skill and agility to look incredibly clinical while doing so. The 160-pound division has been host to great fighters such as Golovkin, Canelo, and Jacobs. Derevinchenko deserves a very honorable mention, as fights with Golovkin and Jacobs were very close. But there's one guy who's seemed to lurk in the shadows ever since the collection of his first world title, the WBC middleweight title. And that guy is Jermal Charlo. Well, lurking in the shadows is he no more, because after a brilliant performance against Sergei Dervinchenko, the spotlight is set firmly on Charlo, who now puts his name forward to be mentioned as one of the best in the middleweight division. Charlo vs. Dervinchenko was an excellent display of boxing, televised by Showtime Pay-Per-View. It's important to give both Charlo and Derevinchenko great credit. Both fighters put on a great show, and win or lose, both their stocks increased that night because, after all, the fans really don't care about records, they care about great fights. Derevinchenko is a very tough fighter. To beat him, Charlo had to remain defensively sound. He boxed with elegance and lean, eye-catching blows to secure a victory. Charlo began his professional career in 2008. Since then, he's secured 31 victories, zero defeats, and is currently ranked number three in the world, behind Golovkin and Canelo. He's got great power, speed, and skill, just what someone needs to succeed in the sport of boxing. Welcome to this video here on The Fight Game, where we take a look at your Mal Charlo and his journey so far. Charlo's quest for a world title began from his first pro fight, of course, and the journey consisted of multiple knockout victories. Most would assume he must be a ferocious power puncher, but not quite. Charlo takes a very disciplined approach to the boxing ring, working off his jab, staying reserved on the back foot as he picks his opponents apart with the lead hand, and then when an opening appears, that's when he lets go with full power. In 2015, Charlo finally got his chance at the IBF world title after some roadblocks. That opportunity came against Cornelius Bundridge. It was a solid test and step up in opposition. Charlo started the fight relaxed, working his jab and moving his head. Interestingly, within the first minute and a half, Charlo had not thrown a single right hand. But then, he did. Charlo trying to... Close the distance and he does it effectively with that right hand. The first right hand Charlo threw knocked Bundridge down. That's proof of great patience. Charlo caught him as he ducked down low on a slip. The next round saw Charlo score another knockdown, this time with a jab. A knockdown scored by a jab takes perfect timing and is barely ever seen. Charlo brought more aggression to the third round where he would score another knockdown this time with a combination of punches. This form of punishment cannot last forever, and with that, the end was near. Charlo closed the show with another great right hand. This was a great victory for Charlo. He showed patience, intelligent boxing, and unquestionable power. Charlo would make three defenses of his super welterweight world title, with his third defense coming against the undefeated Julian Williams. In that fight, Charlo viciously knocked out Williams in the fifth round. First with a jaw-jacking right uppercut thrown after a roll of the shoulder, with his opponent falling in after the miss, and then a subsequent combination to finish the fight. After a victory like that, it was hard not to think about how far Charlo could actually go in the sport of boxing. He'd since shown excellent defensive skills, clinical use of the jab, and crushing power. Jermal Charlo had wishes to unify the super welterweight division, but his twin brother Jermel Charlo was also on a mission for the same, who actually held the WBC title. They are the first twin brothers to hold world titles in the same weight division. 
Charlo had expressed his desire to not fight his own brother, and considering other elements, the most logical move seemed to be a jump up in weight. So it happened. Charlo moved up to the middleweight division of 160 pounds. He fought for the interim WBC middleweight world title against Hugo Centeno Jr. The fight ended similarly to his last. with a massive left hook to weaken his opponent, and a right hand to make things for certain. With Charlo invading the middleweight division in electric fashion, it was clear that Charlo was here to stay. Charlo fought three more times, proving himself to be a good champion by defending his WBC belt. His performances portrayed different elements of his game, some moments showed how clever Charlo was when it comes to the sweet science, and others showed that if all else fails, power and heart is something he can always rely on. And although Charlo remained unbeaten so far, there was perhaps still one thing missing from his resume a world-class elite opponent. With Canelo Jacobs and Golovkin facing one another, it was time for Charlo to put his name into the mix with a win over someone just as good as those guys. A win over Derevinchenko satisfied that need. Very recently, Charlo took on Sergei Derevinchenko on Showtime pay-per-view. Derevinchenko was just coming off a very narrow defeat to Golovkin and gave Charlo a grueling test. It was a great fight, well worth the watch, and Charlo won in a decision. This victory now puts Charlo's name up for contention to be considered as possible opponents against the likes of Golovkin, Jacobs, and Canelo. Most fans would relish a mouth-watering matchup with Mexican superstar Canelo Alvarez. Canelo and Charlo's styles make for a great fight with plenty of boxing skills, heart, grit, and bravado. Charlo and Derevinchenko deserve massive props for putting on a great show for the fans, especially during these troubling times in the world today. I don't know why they're not talking about me. When you watch boxing, you watch Jamal Charlo. We come to fight. Mm -hmm. We fight hard and we get knockouts. The thing is, the competition isn't there. So a lot of people are not giving us the benefit of doubt, like, hey, uh, maybe he is strong enough to fight a Canelo or maybe he is strong enough to fight a, a Golovkin and, and beat those guys. I am the best in the world. Mm. So why haven't they called upon Jamal Charlo to fight? Because it's not going to be an easy fight. Charlo is certainly a boxer who can be expected to hold his own when it comes to fighting the likes of Canelo. He showed a particular toughness that's needed to thrive in a sport as harsh as boxing. He's in his prime, he's undefeated, and we the fans have a whole lot to look forward to if boxing continues to push for the best to fight the best. So in conclusion, Charlo has made the boxing ring his home, but when it comes to the world stage, he is only now making his entrance. Exciting times are ahead for Jamal Charlo and the world of boxing. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, consider giving it a like as it helps us grow the channel. We'll see you in the next video here on The Fight Game.